So I too am in strong support of the bill. I was really taken by the testimony that we had on on Tuesday. I um, really haven't stopped thinking about it since then. Like Senator Dembro, I was deeply moved by some of it, um, hurt by by some of it. I um, I know that some of the things for everyone in the room were, were difficult to, to hear on both sides of of the issue. I I think what's important about this bill, an issue that, that keeps coming up, is shouldn't teenagers be able to talk with people if they're if they are questioning their sexual identity, if they have questions about these feelings that they're having. And of course they should. And this bill does nothing <coughs> to take that away. They can still go to a counselor, they can still say, I'm having these feelings and I'm very comfortable with them, or I'm not comfortable with them, or I don't know what they mean. The idea behind this is that the counselor, um, as consistent with good therapy practice, has to be focused on that individual and that individual's self-directed goals without some sort of a, an idea imposed on them. I think to the parenting issue, I, I am a parent. I have four kids in this age group at home. Well, actually, my son is 20. So I have three kids in this age group at home. And I can think of a whole host of times where I've known that my children need something. They have a need or they have a want or they have a hurt. And I don't know what that answer is. I don't know what they need. And I turn to a professional and I listen to them and their guidance about how to get there. This bill would allow me to do that. But it, what it would not allow me to do as a parent is to put my own, my own ideas on top of the identity of my kids. I got a couple of emails asking me, how would you feel if one of your children told you that they were gay or lesbian? What would you do? Wouldn't you want to have this therapy available? And I would not. If one of my children were to tell me that they were gay or lesbian, I would say, great, I love you. What are we having for dinner? Do you want to talk about it or, or not? I mean, it would be my children are who they are, and I want them to always know that, that whoever they are, the most important thing to me is that they are happy and they are healthy and they are true to themselves and they don't have any shame about about who it is that that they are and i've thought about that since they've been little one of my favorite hymns in my church actually is called uh, so i'm um, i attend a lutheran church it's called i was there you were there to hear my born and cry and it, it's kind of god following you all the way from birth but one of my favorite lines is i hope you find a person with whom to share your days. I'll be there to make your verses rhyme. And I, I always have loved how beautiful that was. And from the time they were infants, I loved how inclusive that was, that what that was saying to them and what I hope I've always said to them is, I hope they are able to pick the person that they, that they love. And as long as they're good to them, that is the only thing that matters. And um, I wouldn't want to subject them to something that would put them in danger, that would make them feel shame, or make them feel that I didn't value them exactly the, the way that they were. So I uh, am really happy to be supporting this bill. I hope other states follow suit relatively quickly.